Hello everyone, this is Khaled from the Retronair channel. Um, welcome to part two of how can you play games on your Nintendo Wii in 2021. Um, so in part one, we covered um, the parts or the steps to basically unlock your Nintendo Wii or jailbreak it, basically installing the homebrew channel. Um, which is your way into basically doing what you whatever you want with the Nintendo Wii and then we installed few software to enable it to play games off the SD card the memory uh, the SD card memory guard thingy so a um, few of the questions that uh, came up in the comments basically how can we add um, shortcuts for the games um, to our Nintendo Wii something similar to what you're saying right here um, on the screen where we have the shortcut for the Donkey Kong and um, Super Mario Bros and stuff so today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that but before we go into that I would like to cover a few of the issues that came up with you guys and you know some of you are facing first of all um, if you don't see applications like WeFlow inside or the DX2 installer inside um, the homebrew channel uh, you should check this folder so basically on your SD card this is my SD card right so on the root of that SD card you should have a folder called apps inside it you'll see any app that is inside this it's basically what will show up in uh, um, the homebrew channel so for example this is WeFlow and you basically to add any app you just extract it from the compressed folder or the, the zip file or the RAR file it came as just extracted directly to the SD card it will fall into the right place and we'll, I'm going to show you how to do that with the new app that we'll be using today to do the shortcuts for the game the other thing is um, the games and where they should be basically all the games should go to a folder called WBFS also on the root of the memory the SD card and for example for here i have donkey kong returns mario kart um other stuff um so new mario pros and chronicles of xenoblade whatever so basically each game is a folder this is the naming convention um again um these games i own them you can get these images out of the uh, dvd you know the, the dvd itself if you're um if you have it or you can search for the internet for backups of those games but guys make sure you own the games you're not you know using pirate just pirated games or whatever but basically this is how the games should look like the naming convention and inside you have the wbfs file also with this naming convention um i think uh we flow also support iso format not only wbfs but it should have the same format it should stay be in this folder and this uh, in the folder of wbfs um this naming convention but the file inside will be an iso file um so this is basically to cover most of the issues that you guys are uh, seeing this is the we flow folder basically this is the settings folder it gets created whenever you start we flow if it's not there so don't worry about it so yeah so this is to cover the issues that we were facing now going forward we need to um as we said install um game shortcuts and to do that we need first something called uh mod light um and basically if you do a search on um, google just go to the mod light the Wii guide and basically um, go here this is a great guide by the way guys you can use it of course um, i'll leave the description in uh, the link in the description of this video just go and download the latest mod light you don't need the forwarders that the mod just the mod light itself now if we go to um, the downloads just right click extract files and choose the sd card which is drive d for me and just click ok now if we go to the sd card right now it should be under apps so this is how you do it you just extract it directly to the d drive it will get into the right place so now we installed mod light on our sd card and we have the game which the new one iron i think um it's mario kart the one i'm 
gonna install the shortcut for the next thing is we need to create what we call a wad file a wad file is basically anyway so basically a wad file is kind of installation file that we uh, we mod used to install the shortcut for that game and we have to create these shortcuts so to do that we use um an application um let me try to find that crap crap version 3.3 this is the one i um, have and i will put the link in the description it's a windows application um as i'm the writer okay so basically what this do, does is that if you give it few, you know, the, like the file you want and all the information, it will create a, kind of the image or the WAD file for you. So if we open the, the choose the WFS file, so we're good to go to our WFS file and go to Mario Kart, for example. So this is, it's the game is called Mario Kart. We have to choose the loader and we have we flow forwarder. Yep. Um, we're not going to change anything else. And we're going to use this naming convention. I think that's, I don't think we need to figure out. So create channel, successfully created Mario Kart dot what file okay and it should be here so we have the what file so we're gonna copy this go to our usb drive and let me make this bigger we're gonna create a new folder we're gonna call it words capitals and we're gonna paste it here now we have the mario kart and th but basically this does is start we flow and tell it to load the game mario kart Wii. now um the game has to be on the memory card for this to work this is just a shortcut kind of a command to load the you know the we flow and start the game so this is all that we need to do on the pc we're gonna go ahead and eject our memory card and switch to the Wii and see how we're gonna do with that okay so we're back on the Wii um, so as you can see we don't have Mario Kart the first thing we want to do is go to the homebrew channel of course I have the um, uh, SD card installed So inside the home pro channel, of course, we have two applications, Wii Flow and Wii Mod Lite. We'll go ahead and start Wii Mod Lite. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go to Word Manager. And it basically tell you where should I look for the WAD files. You tell it in the SD card, which folder, just go to WADs. And we have one, which is Mario Kart. We're going to select yes. It shows you the WAD file and say select action. Of course, you can change to install, uninstall. We want to install this WAD file. We'll press A. It will do the installation. Press any key to continue. So we're done. You press B to go back and the home menu to the home button to leave this and now we should have if we go exit to the system menu from the homebrew channel we should see the shortcut on the desktop or on the home and as you can see we have now mario kart let's start it and see what happens Because I don't have sound on this recording the problem is whenever I don't know why I have this adapter so we have an error I don't know what that means so one good thing to do normally if we have errors um, is to go try to start the whole game from the we flow menu itself just to see if it actually works 
and then if we know that the game works from VFlow, then we have to check the WAD, but maybe there's a problem in the game itself that it doesn't work. So I need to refresh this and let's first refresh the games. Um, try to remember where do you refresh? Home. Reload cache. So now we have all the games. Let's download their images because I didn't download their images. It's a bit tough to manage the Wii controller while I'm shooting on the PC because this is going through, as I said, my PC. So we'll leave it to download and see. Okay, so it's done. Okay, now we have all the games. Let's try to start Mario Kart and see what happens. Okay, so it seems working. Nice. Okay, whatever. I just want to see the loading screen. Okay, so it is working. Now what we're gonna do is... Okay, so it didn't work directly um, through the WAD file, but worked through WeFlow. Now we're gonna try to start it from the shortcut. Again, maybe we needed to refresh the cache for the WeFlow. So this is the shortcut. Let's see if it works. Okay, so this is WeFlow. Okay, so it's working. So this is another step that we forgot about, but this is how we learn. Um, is basically, if you have a new game, you have to go into the WeFlow, make sure that basically you refresh the cache for WeFlow. Then um, you can start it from outside using the shortcut that we've just created with the white file. So as I said, it's not very difficult. It's kind of actually very easy. Um, but I think this will make life much easier instead of you always going through the homebrew channel, starting WeFlow and starting the games. Now it's just simply um, going, uh, clicking on the shortcut and just playing your game. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'm trying to get out of this. So we have a nice exit kind of screen for the video. So again, if you have any questions, Please make sure to put them in the comments below. If any ideas you want to kind of explore with the Nintendo Wii's, also let, please let me know. And yeah, so that's it for now, guys. It's a short video, but I think, I, I hope it helped you um, and made, you know, playing on the Nintendo Wii much easier. If you have any suggestions or any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And that's it. See you soon.